Uh, you know, I certainly hope that we do get more of the routes that we long for, for more of the economics. But at the end, you know, when we did the rate stabilization thing uh, a couple weeks back to lower the cost of the airlines from their own funding, this adds on to it. And you have the noble argument. You are 100 percent right. But at the end, it's, it's for the whole city that I got to do this for. And, uh, and we talked a lot about macro. Well, the macro is, is we're in this quagmire based on, you know, the, the events of uh, September 11th and also because of the macro of global fuel prices. And so we're, at the end of the day, these workers sit at the end of that precipice being forced out by the cost of fuel, which keeps rising the cost and therefore hurts the possible budget for the operations. Um, so that's where I'm at, and I would certainly say that, you know, we talked about when is the right time. Well, if I knew, then I'd be buying futures contracts and airlines, but that won't be happening. Um, so I am very interested, though, on training for those that require training for whatever criteria is needed at an airport. And uh, something I didn't hear today was parking. Uh, a lot of these folks are coming to the airport and having to pay for parking, and I think if there was a way to enable them to have either free or reduced, uh, it's not, it's not the, uh, how would I say this? It's not at the end what everyone would want, but at least it's some way there. And I think it would be cheaper for the, these companies because if I give you X amount of raise, I have to have all the carrying costs of the taxes I have to pay on that, Social Security, et cetera, payroll taxes. But if I just compensate your parking, there is none of those matching fees that come with an employer's responsibility on payroll. Um, so appreciate your time and I do respect everyone's viewpoint on this topic.